Nothing really much to say at the start of this episode other than, yes, my beard is still not back, <laughs> but we have a massive episode coming up. We have, like, a ton of games coming up before January. I thought it was going to be, like, maybe we could rest just a little bit, but no. Look at the month of December. We have Preston on Saturday, then we have Burnley, first place Burnley at Nobes Park. Reading, who are down in the table, so we're maybe thinking about a simulation match. Fulham coming up as well. And then we've got a, a, a fixture added on the 30th of December in the FA Cup. So we just got knocked out of the FL Cup. Nothing more we can do about that. Manchester City just gave us such a massive game. But the FA Cup, there's a ton of like big teams that we could potentially play. And I don't seem to see Leeds... Any, okay, yeah, they're playing against Chelsea. So if we manage to come up against them, and I've also uh, fixed it on the FIFA tracker, you can see that Leeds are our rivals. Let's get into the first match of the episode coming up against Preston North End. Might need to make a ton of changes here. If I'm looking at the lineup, the only player that's like close to being fit and really fit is Harvey Elliott and Tomohiro Nishimura. So maybe thinking about the 4-2-3-1 for this one. We've got Miguel Franco for Ali Koiku, who's definitely gonna come off at some point in the match. We also do have Paul Kerr, who maybe could move to right back. Roshan could play as a right back. We do have Ismaili and Lance Cairns on the bench. And I'm also going to be getting Hugh Nixon on the bench, starting with Al Sharani in goal. The guy has the most clean sheets in the team. He's really like learning a lot from Ralph Fairman. They have a, a lineup that's just fully fit. So, guys, this might be a tough, tough start to the episode. I've also sorted out the disaster that was Georgi Tunjov's modded face and Matt Butcher's real face, you know, clashing. Because like I said, he saved over the idea of Matt Butcher without knowing. And then once I put it in the series, I thought it was all good, but apparently it wasn't. I think the lighting mod actually has an effect on games like this. Obviously it would with the sun shining, just looks beautiful. Skamaka, like I keep saying, more than just a striker now sitting with 14 goals looking to get a big, big game here to start off with because that Manchester City match probably got morale down, guys. I don't know what's going to happen come the end of the season. I really don't, but there was a comment that said uh, maybe if we don't make the Premier League, Nishimura might not want to want to stay with us. It feels like maybe he outgrew the club from the beginning till here. Who knows, guys, what happened, but Nishimura is a guy that I never want to sell, so... I don't know, guys. There's no, like, feature that I think maybe players come up to the manager and say, I don't think I belong here and something like that. So, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Maybe we can make up a storyline. We're heading into January. So, we're going to get the scouting back as Maya is starting today. He had a fantastic episode. Literally nothing was getting past as Maya El Sharani. So good with his feet. I guess that's how we're going to have to play today. In slow motion. Alex Allen fully fit. I've been trying to select him for the past five minutes. It didn't work out. First shot, first goal. Fantastic start. That's what happens when you don't make me select the right player. Clicking L1 17,000 times and Johnson scoring. Gianluca. Nicely done by Skamaka. Good strength by Skamaka. Now we're going to go to Ali Koike. He gives. He's going to give it right back. As Skamaka now can send Tomohiro. Good play between them both as he finds all started by Gianluca Skamaka and Nishimura with a great ball through and Skamaka scoring number 15. What strength, composure, finds the back of the net. He started that all off and Nishimura, great ball through. Just swings his foot at it. Another penalty. Okay, yeah, another penalty, all right. Fantastic, Al Sharani making the save. You have to make that challenge because the ball just get, gets played in so stupidly all the time. I try those passes and the ball doesn't even go close to where I want it to be. As Al Sharani. Come on, Al Sharani. He chips me. A fine Jerome Watson. Risky pass. It works out. Escamaca now. Just going to turn his body. Lovely by Gianluca. Good back here. Zeroal can find Nishimura. Tomohiro. He was offside regardless. Should be Roman Scott here, but Matt Butcher's doing the defending. Lovely by Matt Butcher. The penalty, honestly, wasn't his fault. Skamaka 
One attempt, one goal. Why are they talking about that right now? Johnson whipping in the goal scorer. Miguel is there. Al Sharani grabbing. Roman back to Al Sharani. What just happened? What just happened? I I'm not dreaming, right? Yo, this game, it, it, it actually hates me. I had her back. Al Sharani coming and pick it up. Yo, no. Somebody needs to like work on some programming sometime soon. Al Sharani, he, the header from Roman Scott, he should be picking that up every time. And he's done it every time. Today, right now, he just 3 1 down. What is this game, man? Trango reacted 20 minutes later. Al Sharani dived 20 minutes later. It's like it's just a snowball effect of terrible. 4-1. Yeah, let's put this as far behind us as possible. You don't want to remember this game forever. Skamaka, the only goal in a 4-1 destruction. Not the first time this season that happens. And to top it all off, we have first place Burnley next. 13 shots, 9 on target. One shot, one goal. So by that, like my calculations, we would have took 3 more shots. Game would have finished 4-4. The results might be a little iffy, but at least morale is up in the team. Miguel Franco. Very proud of you. He's happy about that. Alex Allen, I guess great performance, but we were really missing a guy like Georgi Tunjov in the midfield who just seems to do so much. Berglund have a offer, but like a swap deal. Risk of losing a player, Ralph Fehman. We'll see about that, see how much money. Swap deal for a 74-rated 33-year-old striker. I don't think we need a striker, but... Let's just go ahead and delegate this one. Let's start the offer at 4.75 and don't sell the player for less than... Let's go 3.5. I think this could be okay for Hans Berglund. Let's see what they actually end up paying for him. We need to get rid of him. He honestly just doesn't fit. I'm honestly thinking of just not playing Jerome Watson in this. Maybe Lance Cairns. Honestly, Cairns on the left, he's smiley up top. I really am thinking about that because... I don't know, man. Maybe we should go. Literally, Jerome Watson on the, the right-hand side. Harvey Elliott, another seat on the bench for him. I'm doing this, guys. I really am doing this. Cairns is going to drop by a little bit. That's obviously because he's playing as an attacking midfielder. If we do play him as a left winger, right winger, he's, you know, going to go up. But then he won't make his runs that he'll be set to. So just in the interest of not making him drop by that much, we're going to play him as a left winger. Jerome Watson as an attacking midfielder is Miley. And Skamaka up top, Nishimura. And Tunjov in the midfield. Yeah, okay. We're screwed. <laughs> Best away record. 11 games played. 11 victories. 33 points for Burnley. They have Kutrone up top. They have Pope in goal. This is going to be massive if we could win, honestly. I, after getting smacked for one, guys, I really don't have high hopes for this game. But if we need to prove that we're a big team capable of promotion this needs to be massive for us as Tunjov starting everybody's fully fit let's go boys Skamaka gonna need another big performance from you he scored against City why can't he do it against the first place side here in the championship Roshan back Matt Butcher in defense we've got like our best lineup here guys go Tomohiro he's got his Miley making the run but Nishimura's gonna wait he's gonna charge at the defense now waiting for Cairns plays the perfect pass as Cairns is in there Cairns holding on to it for way too long should have got it away there. All right. It's better, guys. We can definitely do something in this game as Roshan Williams. Lovely by Roshan. It really is slow motion. He's smiling. Cairns. Can he find him? Good ball to Lance Cairns. Let's just have a shot here. You know what? We're going to drop it back to... No, this guy... He's... Oh, man. He's smiling. Why are you just running so, like... Like, you look so lost there. How in the world, Butcher... Lovely by Matt Butcher. Let's go all the way back to Ralph Femin. Roman Scott. Good block. Joe Watson. Into Tomohiro. Ismaili, give me something to work with. Skamaka's making the run as well. Nishimura's going to wait. Ismaili can play in Lance Cairns. Come on. Oh, what a save. He's going to go back to Tunjov. Now Tunjov. Didn't expect him to get the ball. And now Kutrone on the counterattack. Are you kidding me? As Patrick Kutrone, Fairman coming out. Don't make him chip you. And he just stands there. And he just stands there. And he just stands there. Like, at least react to the ball. At least react to the ball. One opportunity. 
saves, sparks a counter-attack, Burnley up 1-0. Not even deserved, guys. Not even deserved. That's why I'm saying we can maybe do this. As that one just gets through both of our defenders. Butchu has been so solid. Famine. All right. Al Sharani looking like the better option at this point, man. I pulled him back. He shouldn't have gone out that much. And Gutrone just a lovely chip. Nice block, Skamaka. Thank you, Gianluca. Get in there, guys. Finding Nishimura. Yo, I can't beat this goalkeeper. Skamaka with a, just so much pressure. Forcing them to make a mistake. And he gets us a corner, Nishimura. Let's get Tunjov on this left-footed. Hopefully he doesn't take it right away. Good stuff. All right. Now, look for Skamaka. Comes back to his mic. <laughs> yes, he's smiley. I can't believe that's what it took to get the goal. Might be counted as an own goal, but I think it's going to be Smiley's goal off the corner. They were all focused on Skamaka. They forgot about Ismaili just outside the box. He hits the half. It hits off the defender's legs. Pope was actually going to make the save. I think so. As the defender going... S no, it hits off Pope's legs. He makes a big mistake and it's Ismaili's goal. 82nd minute, 8th goal for Indrit Ismaili. Yo, let's go Ismaili. If we can somehow sneak a victory after doing nothing, not nothing all game we've tried, but every pass was off. Everything we've done was off. Skamaka putting the pressure gets us a corner. And let's go, guys. Six minutes left. Roshan, that's yours. Harvey Elliott, he just came on. He needs to prove himself. As Nishimura, Georgi Tunjov, he's got Cairns. Can he find him? Oh, baby, what a ball by Georgi. Oh, what a ball by Georgi. Now Cairns looking to send back and send in Ismaili. It's going to come out to Georgi. Yes, it will. As Nishimura now. Tomohiro plays in his Miley. Now Tunjov. Good ball to Georgie. Good ball. Georgie Tunjov. 87th minute. Might just get us the winner. Scores his first goal with his new face mod. I can't believe this. What? A, what this, this is how you rally back. He's Miley with the assist this time. And Georgie Tunjov. Another goal for him. This time... It's not an overhead kick, it's not a wonder strike, it's just inside the box. And he smashes it past Pope, who's made so many saves as Tunjov scoring his second goal in the championship. And it's 2-1. Five minutes added on. I have absolutely never seen that. Five minutes. Are you kidding me? We need to hold him off for five minutes and get the biggest upset of the season as Roman Scott. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. Cairns now do some defending. He did well today. Just unlucky not to have a goal as Nishimura. Yes, okay, Gosens. Nishimura. Lovely. Janulis. Just come on, guys. Cairns. Tunjov get there. Cooney. Unrealistic dribbling. But Tunjov. No, I didn't even click the button. No, this game. No, this game. This game. This game. This game. No, this game doesn't make any sense. This doesn't make any sense. And I have an idea. I have an idea so crazy it might work. So crazy it might work. I'm putting Al Sharani. I'm putting Al Sharani in goal. I'm subbing Famine. I didn't even touch the circle button. All he did was fall over in the box. And the goal score. I can't believe this. Famine off. This is. This could backfire. This could be the smartest thing I've ever done. As Gutrone. Patrick Gutro. This game. This game. This game is ridiculous. 2-2. Two, two. It just it just couldn't it just couldn't have it. The script was there for them to get. Yep. Alright. Alright. Al Sharani, the most reliable penalty saver. I trusted him more than Famine. But in the end, Udrone, back at her net. This could have been their first loss away from home, but it's their first dropped points. Away from home as Cutrone scoring in the 90th minute. Two goals for Cutrone. Just unfortunately. Unfortunately. I didn't even click the circle button. I didn't even go in for the challenge. I was just trying to do all I can to prevent that. But in the end, that's the goal they score. 2-2 two -two draw. Dunjov would maybe man of the match performance. 8.6 for him. He's smiley. Did he have? He had a goal, an assist. And Tunjov just had a goal. So he's Miley maybe 
If he continues another player of the episode, gets his goal, got us back in this. Honestly, I'm disappointed about the penalty, but in the result, I'm pretty happy about this. A 2-2 draw against the first place side. I'll take it any day, guys. Great piece of business from us. Hans Berglund looked like a wonder kid. He had great potential. And then when we played him and we played him and we continued to play him, just nothing was coming from this guy. 4.2 million to Dijon. That's going to be some good money for us. Obviously, like I keep saying, the transfers, we can't make them because we made two already. They were free signings. Reading coming up next. 17th place in the championship. We need to bounce back, guys. It was a draw, but we need to get a victory here. I thought I was doing a Louis Van Hall move, putting Al Sharadi in goal. And then he... Oh, man, this is annoying. Asmai is going to start in this one. It, it's it's okay. It, it's not a loss, guys. We, we can afford to play some rotated players here as Roman Scott is going to have to start. We're going with Miguel on the left. Let's maybe give... Nishimura start here as attacking midfielder and go with Alex Allen and Donjov. Um, I'm sorry. I really am sorry, Jerome Watson. You're going to maybe need a few starts from the bench to hopefully get, like, you know, everything back. Because Al Shadani starting. We have Paul Kerr, Asmai, Tunjov, Allen, Nishimura, Cairns, Ismaili, Gianluca Skamaka. Another big performance from Ismaili, guys. I, I hope he can. It's really infuriating how they don't have the undershirt still, but whatever what do you want to do i try fixing it i try putting more like fixing up the edit players tab i try doing everything but it's just not working cairns had a couple of opportunities to score skamaka alex allen allen find his smiley this could be a great start if he's smiley can actually do something here we're gonna chip we're gonna chip ninth goal of the season for Indrit Ismaili, assisted by Alex Allen. That's an incredible start, guys. Let's go. I don't know why my camera was sideways. What, what happened? Why is there... Okay. It was a free kick, apparently. A swift taking it. Al Sharani come up big. Thank you very much. Uh oh, Maron. As my... I was about to call him Ismaili. As Cairns now. Go, Cairns. Good strength by Lance Cairns. Get in there, Skamaka. Can he send him in? Or Ismaili. He's going to find Indrit. What a cross by Lance Cairns. What a cross by Lance Cairns. All started by Asmai's fantastic block. Alex Allen. No need to rush it. A stone job of patience. Lovely by Georgie. Look at the pressure on him. Look at it. Going all the way back. Trying to play out from the back now as Al Sharani. Looking for Skamaka. Heads it down to Alex Allen. Oh, beautiful. Alex Allen, look for Indrit. Come on, Indrit. Can score number two, Indrit. Good. Strained by Indrit. Yo. How did okay all right it had to happen next one he's gonna get and the first half i was thinking maybe jumping to simulation for the second but we're gonna play a bit see what happens nice cairns he's smiley with a poor touch now cairns go lance skamaka get in there okay it's gonna find nishimura okay it's gonna find nishimura all right all right I don't know how we just got that goal because the momentum just shifted at the beginning of the half, but Ishimura's there from Cairns. It's 2-0. And I'll take this 2-0 victory any day of the week because they, they were showing signs of stupidity. Look at, like, what is that? And their fans are going crazy thinking that they want a penalty. That's going to be a 2-0 victory. Great way to bounce back from that draw and that loss. Let's go, guys. Another two games. And January coming up, we're going to get the money. We're going to send our scouts back out. Cairns with an 8.0 because he got an assist. Ismaili with the goal. Nishimura with the other goal. Who got the other assist? It's Alex Allen, but Ismaili looking closer and closer to another player of the episode for this guy. Come to me and said that the Indonesian Setia Budi is actually feeling a little bit unsettled. So what I think I'm going to do is promote him to the senior team. January is coming up soon, so alone can actually do this guy some good. We're still looking to sell Chayade. Let's add him to the loan list, and we can maybe play him in the cup match. Let's take on third place Fulham. And then we have Shrewsbury in the FA Cup. Guys, we're, we're close now. But that victory did us some good. Two points behind Stoke. Four points behind Derby County. Going back to the 4-2-3-1 for this. Tunjov is tired. Allen's tired. Nishimura's tired. Skamaka's tired. But we need our big guys there today. At Craven Cottage, we've got Butcher. We've got Williams. We've got Femin and Goal. I think we can hopefully do something here. Even a draw would do us some, some good here. They have Lockshot on the left. 
Fulham, they're gonna give us a tough game and we do have Hugh Nixon at right back. I also needed to change because it's a scorcher in my room. I'm actually dying of heat right now, so needed to remove the hoodie. Skamaka, like I keep saying, more than a striker, so I don't mind when he doesn't score the goals. He's helping out whichever way he can, that big striker. But now playing as the lone striker today, already starting off with a good interception. That gives me some hope, guys. Get up, Skamaka. Stop complaining to the referee. Nice block, Ali. Jerome Watson. Always, like, it takes so long for him to get it. As Tomohiro. Chopping it back for Tunjov. Looking for Harvey Elliott. Come on, Harvey. Come on, Harvey. You've been asleep all episode long, and he gets the goal. Harvey Elliott. I don't know what's happening with this guy. When he doesn't even know what's happening, but he gets the goal. And we're 1-0 up. As Tunjov, what a ball. And we go up 1-0 at Craven Cottage. I think just skinning the, the bottom of the bar. Puts it past the goalkeeper. Harvey Elliott with a great strike. No, it didn't even touch the bar. But Harvey Elliott scoring. And we're up 1-0, guys. Out of absolutely nothing. Sixth goal for him. Nice block. I can't with this game anymore, man. What is that? Uh, a great block. It just... It, it needed to happen. It just needed to happen. That's my butcher with a great block. And just... Like, what is this? You can't make this up. 1-1. One, one. First half done. It's 1-1. One, one. That stupidity of a goal is... <laughs> Drew the game level. I can't... Believe that's what they scored. Donjov. Finding Alex Allen. Now Tomohiro. Harvey Elliott. Gives. And he continues going. As Nishimura is on side. Don't tell me otherwise. Kamaka. Oh baby what a goal. Oh baby what a goal. Let's go. That's how you want to start the second half. Yeah. Look disappointed guys. When they just give you the stupidest goals. And we have to work so hard for them. 16th goal of the season for Gianluca Scamacca. Slowing down a little bit more, but he's still the top goal scorer. He still can get in those positions. Power header trait just works so well there and puts it past the goalkeeper with a great finish. Scamacca scoring 2-1 instantly. I don't even know what Fulham's doing, man, but they somehow have a goal. And this is obviously going to be a second, right? Obviously going to be a second, right? They're playing like garbage. They're actually playing like garbage and they're getting rewarded with this. Like, just comes in, a shot, first time, no errors any time on their shots. No matter the sliders, no matter what, never. Never can send it into Rosette. Roshan Williams, fantastic. Don't even start complaining about that. That's incredible by Roshan Williams. At this point, doesn't really have much. Finding Tomohiro. Now Skamaka. It's trained by Skamaka. Tunjov. He's Miley. Can we drop it back to Georgi? Yes, he can. As Georgi just outside the box. It's going to take a deflection. And he comes back out to him as Tunjov. Keep going, Tunjov. Get somebody in. Nishi Why is everybody slow motion? And a foul against Nishimura. Tunjov is drained. I could have got him off, but look what he can still do no, despite having no fitness. Cairns, Allen, somebody get to that. Don't make them get to that. Don't. Don't do this to me. Payne still. Roshan Williams gets the ball a thousand percent of the time. Come on. Great challenge by Roshan. And let's get this forward, guys. Do we have something? As Roshan just going to send it to Skamaka or Nishimura. It's going to find Tomohiro. Nicely done. No, referee, don't blow the whistle. You would allow them to play on Fulham. Only one point here. My players were just so unresponsive. The fact that we got one point out of that, it, it frustrates me because we could have had a victory, but they had to score a stupid goal. We take another point from a top table side, guys. And just to end off the episode, loan offer for Setia Budi. He hasn't played a game yet. I'm thinking of actually starting him in this game. He's got some decent, like, overall on him. Good stats, good potential. Shrewsbury, FA Cup. I don't know how it works. We're going to have to rotate a little bit. So maybe no Skamaka, maybe no Tunjov, maybe no Nishimura. And then save them, I guess, for the later stages of the match, guys. No Spark looking absolutely gorgeous today for the FA Cup. I don't know how it works because... We're in the AFL Cup for pretty long. And does like your performance in the AFL Cup somehow give you a spot in another round of the FA Cup or something like that? Or it's just based on last season's performance? Whoever knows, actually let me know because 
This, I don't really know which round it is. Shrewsbury Town in, I think, League One, guys. And we did sign Roshan Williams from them. Hopefully not too much of like a struggle here against, I think, a League One side. I don't think they got promoted. I, I really don't think they got promoted, guys. Miguel is starting. Paul Kerr. Azmaye. Literally, honestly, him too. The games he played, he let absolutely nothing go by him. So maybe a defender for player of the episode. Setiabudi getting his first opportunity from the academy. And he's doing decently here. The Indonesian finding Lance Cairns. And he's going to keep going as Cairns. Lovely by Lance. Cairns setting the tone for the game. Good shot. Easy save. Let's go, boys. That is Paul Cairns. Cairns. Ismaili lets it go through. Ismaili used that strength. And he takes down the defender. That's offside. No, it's not. Okay. Al Sharani now come up. Oh, baby, Al Sharani. Al Sharani. Oh my god, Al Sharani, come on. Asmai. Get this forward. Looking for Cairns. What a ball by Asmai. Ismaili. Can he get something going here? Trying to push it around Ebanks Landel, but he's just staying strong. We're doing well. Al Sharani's keeping us in this one. Should have had a goal. Should have had two goals. Let's go, guys. Asmai. Again, gonna send to Ismaili. That all started by Asmai. Nishimura, one touchdown. Cairns, please. Nice block by Paul Kerr. And Nishimura now. Cairns. Come on, Jerome. Come on, Jerome. But we're going to Setia Budi instead. This is the better option. Finding Ismaili for number. Oh my god, what a finish by Indrit Ismaili. Setia Budi, first game, assist. First game assist. How how good would a loan be for him? He comes back maybe near like the 70 mark. Can this Indonesian right wing be like our newest right winger? And what a great finish with his weak foot. 1-0 up. Let's go, guys. 53rd minute. Indrit Ismaili. First goal in the FA Cup. And let's go, guys. Let's get this victory. Hopefully it just doesn't all fall apart. But we've got the momentum going forward as Cairns from Indrit Ismaili. Now Cairns going to use a bit of skill here. Oh, my God, Cairns. Oh, my God, Cairns. Oh, off, the, off the post. Off the post. Off the post. Off the post. Go, Ismaili. It's going to be Setia Budi with the assist last time. Ismaili now trying to find Setia Budi. Get it there, boys. Setia Budi can be in for another assist if he does find Cairns and if he does finish it. Setia Budi, first game as a Nobs FC player, he gets two assists. That's why I'm thinking maybe a loner. He can just stay here and help us out for the rest of the season. And he goes through Lance Cairns. And what am I watching? Asetia Budi just turning on the Jets and Lance Cairns getting a goal that he has been deserving for a couple of games now. Hopefully he can just continue and everybody's doing well. 87 minute. I'd like one more. Maybe another one for Ismaili. Another one for Cairns. Maybe a goal for Setia Budi. But I've made up my mind that player of the episode once again is going to be Indrit because he just plays so much better than his rating. Remember a guy that used to play so much better than his rating? His name was Olaf Lovgren. And he became a fantastic player. He finds Setia Budi. Good strength by Setia Budi. This is incredible. A Setia Budi now just getting pulled. And re referee. Free kick. Free kick. Free kick for Lance Cairns. Is he going to score this one? Does he have good free kick accuracy right now? No. But Cairns is going to take it and going to try to curve it in the top right corner. As Lance Cairns, I timed it perfectly. There's no way I hit a yellow again. But I hit a yellow. And it's just over the bar. Miguel, just easily back to Jamal Al Sharani. It could be him, man. It could be even Asmai as the player of the episode. But I know you guys are feeling in it. He scored a couple of good goals in that game against Burnley. Really made my decision even clearer with the goal. I, I think the assist to Antonjov's goal. He gets one here, and guys. Uh, a struggling episode like struggling Fulham we could add something more this game we could add more Burnley we took points from them and we're actually sitting in a good spot heading into January scouting and is going to start next episode let's do the upgrade and let's show you the stats of the team heading into January yeah here it is guys Hans Berglund has been sold 4.2 million allocated us 3.1 million to your loan for Patrick Malai Weissenen has departed to Admira Walker, and this is going to be our budget that we're going to be using to hopefully upgrade our scouts 
and send our scouts out again. Maybe get some contracts. 3.57 million is going to really help us out from here till the end of the season. Obviously, like I said, the two signings per season for now rule is in effect. So there's nothing more we can do. Skamaka now up to a 77. Let's show you the stats of the players and how they're doing in the league in the cups and all that the man with the most assists is Tomohiro three goals 12 assists Alex Allen with eight assists but I just feel like he hasn't I don't know man I'm always feeling weird about Alex Allen Cairns with five Skamaka with four Tunjov with three and three for Jerome Watson I think they were all in the exact same game he's Miley with 10 goals three assists top goal scorer is Gianluca Skamaka but slowly creeping up behind him is Indrit Ismaili with 10 goals in all competitions then Elliot Lance Cairns with seven Nishimura with three Tunjov with two Matt Butcher with one let's go ahead and give the player of the episode for Indrit Ismaili so remember player of the episodes three random stats and, and they're going up by plus three anything in the shooting department would be good finishing composure something like that gonna be ball control which is good free kick accuracy which apparently we still can't score free kick and we've got slide tackling so two good upgrades and one that <laughs> it could have been something else yeah that unfortunately doesn't make him go up but high low work rates are, are perfect for this guy i feel like the work rates actually do something for him striker right winger left winger he could also play as a central midfielder but look at that guys the strikers we've got skamaka in excellent form cairns in excellent form ismaili in great form i'm still looking to sell on some players like i said we're gonna start with scouting come next episode and danny Rowe is gonna have his spot in the club if you guys have enjoyed this episode let me just show you the table before we do go 42 points three behind derby county 12 victories six draws nine losses we lose a lot but we win a lot we don't draw that many 42 goals for 34 against guys we're close we really are close didn't think so but i always don't think so and then look what happens these guys are putting in stellar performances if you guys have enjoyed you can leave me a like down below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you next time